In this video we're going to be exploring how to select subsamples within SPSS and in doing so we're going to be running a sampling simulation to show the power of random sampling. So I've got SPSS open and I'm going to first uh, take a basic descriptive statistic of age, age of a respondent. This will be a baseline that we'll use uh, for this exercise, this simulation. And what we find is the average age in the sample is 46.33 and that there are about 498 people. Well, there are 498 people involved in the sample. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go back to the data view and select data, select cases, random sample, and then I'm going to specify 1%. Okay, so we'll continue with that. Click OK. And then you'll see the syntax generated. And if you go back to the data, you'll see that now these hash marks appear over most of the cases. And that's because now we're only selecting one out of 100 people. So out of 500, this should be uh, roughly five, five people. Kind of like finding a needle in a haystack if you were to find them, to look for them. So I'm going to go back, analyze descriptive statistics and descriptives. And again, we'll keep age in there. We'll click OK. And now we see seven people were randomly chosen. And for these seven people, the average age is 47.71. So you'll notice that's not identical to the overall sample of 46.33, but it's pretty close. Not bad for seven people. So we'll do this two more times. So that way we'll have three runs of 1%, and then we'll repeat those steps and do three runs of 5%. Okay, so the first, you have to go back and in order to get a new random sample, you have to click all cases in between. You see this, this is generated here to turn the filter off. And then we're going to turn it back on. We're going to go data, select cases, random sample, 1% again, continue. OK. And once more, we will do a descriptive statistic for age. OK. And one more time. OK, we'll go data, select cases all. Data, select cases, random sample, 1%. Analyze descriptive statistics, descriptives. And you see we've got different estimates. So 47.7, 51.4, and 48 are our three sampling estimates. And our, our wider sample, in this case we're treating as a population for our simulation, is 498 people. And our sample sizes and our random samples are 7, 5, and 3. So pretty, pretty incredible that three people would estimate 500 so closely. But that is some of the power of random sampling. Okay, so let's repeat the, uh, the steps for 5%. So we'll go data, select cases, all, just to reset things. Data, select cases, 5%. Analyze descriptive statistics, descriptives. You see the sample's a little larger at 5%. And our estimate, well, not great, 41.39. Uh, you never know what's going to happen with sampling error with any given sample. Okay, we'll do this again. Data, select cases, all cases. Data, select cases. Again, 5%. Analyze descriptive statistics. Descriptives. Well, that one is 46.8, a little closer. And one more time, data, select cases, all cases, data, select cases, random sample, 5%. And one last time, descriptive statistics. And for our last subsample, our, our mean estimate is 49.6. So we now have output, we have three random samples of roughly 5% of the overall sample. And our estimates range from 41.39 to 49.6, and one falling in the middle there. And we have estimates of 1%. Our estimates for 1% go from 46 to 47 to 51. All right. Now, if we were to sit down and calculate the average error between these estimates, I'm sorry, this 46 was the, the actual overall estimate. Uh, the 1% range from 47 to 51 and 48. 
we were to sit down and subtract the overall, the actual population mean, 46.3 from the sample means, we'd probably find that for the 1%, the average error was greater than the average error for the 5%, if we were to do the same thing there. And that's, it should, it doesn't always work out that way, actually, <laughs> due to random chance, but usually what you find is that the estimates with the larger sample size are closer, and that illustrates one of the basic ideas of sampling theory. And that will conclude our discussion.